हेलो फ्रेंड्स यू आर वेलकम वंस अगेन ऑन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एविडेंस एक्ट अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस ट्वेंटी टू क्वेश्चन नाउ वी आर डिस्किंग सम मोर क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्ट एंड दीज आर ऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप क्वेश्चन सो लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री विच इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू ऑफ द इफेक्ट ऑफ एडमिशंस Your options are A. Ad admission constitute an substantive piece of evidence in the case, and for that reason can be relied upon for proving the truth of the fact incorporated therein. B. An admission has the effect of shifting the onus of proving to the contrary on the party against whom it is produced, with the result that it casts an imperative duty. On such party to explain it, in the absence of the satisfactory explanation, it is presumed to true. C. An admission, in order to be competent and to have the value and effect referred to above, should be clear. The certain and definite and not ambiguous, vague to be true. D. All of them. So, friends, the uh, right answer of this question is all of them. Every condition is satisfied. Now the question number twenty-four. An attesting witness is a one who signs his name to an instrument at the request of the party or parties for purpose of proving or identifying it. B a witness who has attested the document. C both A and B and D none of them. Answer is C both A and B. Now the question number twenty-four. Uh, 25 a intentionally and falsely leads b to believe that certain land belongs to a and thereby inducing b to buy and pay for it the land after bird become the property of a and a seeks to set aside the sale on the ground that at the time of the sale he had not title applying section 115 indian evidence act your options are he must allow to prove his want of title he must be allowed to prove his want of title c he must not be allowed to prove his want of title and d none of them the correct answer is he must not be allowed because of already he have given his consent for that contract and later he got that property so he cannot be allowed now the question number 26 admissible evidence is thus that which is a relevant b not exclude any rule of law or practice c either a or b d both a and b so answer is the both a and b i mean d now the question number 27 A is accused of crime committed by him at Calcutta. He produces a letter written by himself and dated at Lahore on that day, and bearing the Lahore postmark of that day. Applying Section Twenty One of Evidence Act, which of the following is possible? Options are A. A statement in the date of letter is admissible because if A were dead, if Would be admissible under Section Twenty Seven Clause Two. B, option number B. A statement in the date of letter is admissible because if A were dead, it would be admissible under Section Twenty Nine Two. C. The statement in the date of the letter is admissible because if A were dead, it would be admissible under Section Thirty Two Clause Two. And D. The statement in the date of letter is admissible. Because if a were dead, it would be admissible under Section Thirty Four, Clause Two. The correct answer is the C, which is uh, because of it is admissible under Section Thirty Two, Clause Two. Now the question number twenty-eight. A is tried for a riot and is proved have marched at the head of the mob. Applying Section Nine, the Indian Evidence Act. options are a cries of the mob are relevant as 
it does not explain the nature of transaction b cries of the mob are relevant x explanatory of the nature of the transaction c either a or b d none of them the correct answer is the a a which is the cries of the mob are relevant irrelevant as it does not explain the nature of the transaction now the question number 29 a a sculptor agrees to sell to b all my mods a has both model and modeling tools applying section 98 indian evidence act evidence cannot be given to show which he meant to sell b evidence needed not to be given to show which he meant to sell c evidence may be given to show which he meant to sell d none of them the correct answer is the c evidence may be given to show which he meant to sell friends now question number 30 let's move on 30 the entry in monzawari register is admissible under your options are section 32 section 35 section 37 and section 30 9 so correct answer of the question is the b section 35 now the question number 31 in a criminal case under section 54 of evidence act to prove that the defendant committed the crime charge evidence may not be given that he options are a bore a bad reputation in the community b has a disposition to commit crime of that kind c had no other occasion committed particular act of the same class evincing such disposition and d all of them the right answer is the d all of them now the question number 32 which says that in which of the following case did the court held that party who produces witness in court produces them as a witness of truth and simply because portion of their statement are not favorable to the party producing them they cannot be condemned as biased witness options are gayasuddin khan versus state of bihar b lekhraj versus state of gujarat c gulab chand gambhi raman versus kurdi lal gobindram and d sidka versus narcotics control bureau the correct answer is the c gulabchand ganbiram versus kundi lal gobindram now the friend question number 33 let's see what it says it says in which of the following proceeding the domestic tribunal and departmental inquiries the indian evidence act is not applicable a offences conducting departmental inquiries b departmental proceeding c disciplinary proceeding tribunal d all of them right answer is the all of them you will not for i you cannot you cannot apply the evidence act in all these proceedings so right answer is the d all of them now the question number 34 the proviso 1 to section 33 of evidence act not only covers cases of the privity in state and succession of title but also cases which where which of the following condition is met options are a the interest of the relevant party in the second proceeding is the subject matter of first proceeding and is consistent with and not antagonistic to the interest there in of the relevant party to the first proceeding b the interest of the both in the answer to be given to the particular question in issue in the first proceeding is identical c either a or b d both a and b so friends right answer is the both a and b both a and b are the true now the question number 35 relevancy of the fact forming part of the same transaction is dealt under which of the following section of evidence act what 
the same transaction friends let's see the options section 4 section 6 section 10 section 8 now the correct answer is the and b section 6 same transaction section 6 now friends question number 36 section 132 of the evidence act does not apply to a statement made by a person during an investigation under section 159 crpc section 161 crpc section 163 crpc section 166 crpc the correct answer is the section 161 crpc it means answer is the b now the question number 37 the section 31 of evidence act declares options are a that admission are not conclusive proof of the matter admitted but they may operate as estoppel b unless admissions are contractual or unless they constitute estoppel they are not conclusive but are open rebuttal or explain c either a or b d both a and b the correct answer is a friend d both a and b now let's move ahead Sex, uh, question number 38 section 65 of the evidence act which of the following situation under which secondary evidence can be given your options are a when original is shown or appears to be in possession and the power of the person against whom the document is sought to be proved b when it is in the possession or power of any person who is out of reach or not subject to process of the court c when it is in the possession of any person legally bound to produce it but he fails to produce it after the notice mentioned section 66 evidence act has given to him d all of them so friend the right answer of this question is d all of them it means that in all the condition secondary evidence can be produced is very important friends mostly it happens in the court so keep in mind question number 39 the defense of alibi is best because a if the accused was not there when the deceased was murdered he could not have murdered her b once the plea of alibi is raised no other defense is open to the prosecution c it leaves room for no other defense for the accused d none of them so friends right answer of the question is a if the accused was not there so murder was not conducted done by the accused now the question number 40 an estate called a rampur t estate is sold by a deed which contain a map of the property sold applying section 92 of the evidence act options are let's see a the fact that land not included in the map had always been regarded as the part of the estate and was meant to pass by the deed not be proved b the fact that land not included in the map had always been regarded as part of the estate and was meant to pass by the deed is relevant c the fact that land not included in the map had always been regarded as a part of the estate and was meant to pass by the deed cannot be proved. D. None of them. So friends, right answer is the C. It means that it cannot be proved. Now the question number 41. Which of the following way access damage under section 12 Indian Evidence Act? Uh, there are some condition now there will be option condition number one damage suffered should be near as possible to the sum which will put the injured party in the same position as he would have been if he had not sustained the wrong for which he was awarded damage or compensation Condition number two, damages are usually accessed on the basis of the actual loss suffered and are called general or ordinary damage. Three, where the plaintiff has not suffered any real damage by reason of breach of contract, normally nominal damage are awarded. Four, a special damage can be awarded for 
पर्सनल इनकन्वीनियंस और फिजिकल डिस्कम्फर्ट कॉज बाय द अदर पार्टी ऑप्शन आर ए ऑप्शन ए इंक्लूडिंग स्टेटमेंट वन थ्री एंड फोर ऑप्शन बी स्टेटमेंट टू थ्री एंड फोर ऑप्शन सी स्टेटमेंट वन टू एंड फोर एंड डी ऑल ऑफ दिन सो फ्रेंड्स राइट आंसर इज द डी ऑल ऑफ टेन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू द हिस्ट्री सीट ऑफ एन अक्यूज पर्सन कैप्ट इन पोलिस स्टेशन इज नॉट अ मैंस कैरेक्टर एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन conviction b hearsay c investigation d none of them so it is hearsay evidence now the question number 43 the principle on which dying declaration is admitted is in evidence is indicated in legal maxim so you have to tell the legal maxim of the dying declaration a nemo moritors prosumitra मैनीटेरी बी लैक्स पोरी सी रेक्स रेस जुडिकेटा एंड डी नन ऑफ देम राइट आंसर इज दी ए नेमो मोरिटोरस प्रोसिमिटर मैनटेरी इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू रीड आउट फोर्टी फोर द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सेक्शन फोर्टी फोर एविडेंस एक्ट बी एक्सटेंडेड टू विच ऑफ द फॉलो बी ए मिस रिप्रेजेंटेशन or undue influence b fraud c collision d all of them so right answer is the a misrepresentation or undue influence question number 45 section 15 of evidence act deal with the particulars application of the general principle laid down in options are section 7 section 10 section 12 section 14 the correct answer is the section 14 it means that section 15 or 14 are very similar they dependent on each other now the question number 46 the question is whether a poison b applying section 6 indian evidence act which of the following fact can be relevant options are a marks on the ground produced by the struggle or on near the place where the murder was committed b the state of b's health before the symptoms scribed to poison and habit of b known to a which afforded an opportunity for the administration of the poison c the fact that shortly before the poisoning b went to fair with money in possession and that he showed it or mentioned the fact that he had it to third person d none of them so right answer is the b the state that b is health before the symptoms ascribed is uh, ascribed to poison the habits of b known to a now the question number 47 to invoke the doctrine of estoppel which of the following condition must be satisfied a representation by a person to another b the other shall have acted upon the said representation c such a person shall have been detrimental to the interest of the person to whom the representation has been made d all of them correct answer is the d all of them now the question number 48 what do you understand by the admission of execution a it means only admission of signature b it means only valid attestation of signature by two witness as required by law b b both a and b d none of them right answer is the none of them so admission is given in section 17 under section 82 of evidence act court must presume that the seal or stamp or signature is genuine that the person signing the document held at the time when he signed the judicial or the official character he claims c both a and b d none of them so it is both a and b question number 50 what do understand by the libellous character your options are a constituting 
or containing a libel b constituting or containing a praise c constituting or containing a commendation d none of them so it is constituting or containing a libel it means option number a now the question number 51 the dying declaration to be admissible a must be made before magistrate b must be made before police officer may be made before doctor or private person d may be made either before magistrate police officer or doctor or private person so correct answer is the d definitely friends d is the correct answer now the question number 52 declaration in courts of the business are admissible option a under section 32 clause 1 B under section 32 clause 2 C under section 34 clause 4 and under section 37 clause 7 the right answer is the B under section 32 clause 2 of the evidence act now the question number 53 declaration as to custom are admissible under section 32 clause 1 B under section 32 clause 2 C under section 32 clause 4 and D under section 32 clause 7 the right answer is the under section 32 clause 4 it means option number C custom now the question number 54 under section 32 clause 4 evidence act the declaration options are as to public right and custom are admissible b the private right and custom are admissible c both public and private rights and custom are admissible d only as to the custom are as to admissible the correct answer is the public right and the custom customs are admissible now the question number 55 opinion of the expert are relevant under section 45 under section 46 under section 47 under section 48 right answer is the under section 45 so friends here we are ending up our this lecture uh, this session later we will continue this session of the evidence act so please subscribe our channel and share this video like this video if you have any suggestion please write it on the comment box thank you very much